Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so today I'm doing a collaboration with a very talented artist here in the UK and her name is Mary Louise. So please check out Mary Louise art. I will drop all of her link details down below in the description box. So once you've watched me do my creation, then please head over to Mary Louise's channel, give her a thumbs up, give her a follow and watch the creation that we've done together. So today what we're doing is a really exciting piece. What we've done is we're gonna both use a black base and the brief was to use metallic colors. That's our color palette inspiration. So we're creating a piece with a black base and we're using metallic colors. I can't wait for you to see how this turns out. I'm opting to do a diptych, so two pieces. I'm gonna have one prominent color in one of the pieces and another prominent color in the other piece. And when they come together, they create a really special diptych. So I really hope you enjoy this and let's see what we can create. So the canvases that I'm using today are eight by eight inches squared. They're deep edge and I've already painted my sides. I'm using a lamp black base and then I've got four colors that I'm going to layer on top. And they include gold, a silver, a copper and a white. All my paints and all the brands that I use for each creation are listed in the description box below. So check that out for more information. But firstly, let me take my lamp black. I'll take my hairdryer. It's on a cool setting, the lowest setting. I'm just going to blow out the base in preparation to layer the colors on top. When doing a Dutch pour, it's really important that you get your flow and your consistency right. So before you jump in, always do a drip test just to see how those colors flow. Today I'm using just paint and water, one part paint to one part water. So I'm going to now take each color in turn. I'm starting off with the gold and I'm just going to puddle pour those directly in the middle of the canvas each color one by one on top of each other. So I started off with the gold, then the copper, then the silver, and I'm just adding some white too. That's gonna really help create some cells and some lacing. I'm just gonna add now some more gold and some more copper. And then what I'll do is I will add some more of the base color, the lamp black, around the edges of the puddle that I've layered. That's gonna really, really help with the flow across the canvas. I'll just pop my air bubbles using my torch and then we'll start blowing out the design. There's no need to rush the process, so just take it at your own speed. Allow your hairdryer to be a couple of centimetres off of the surface of the canvas and just gently blow the paint across the canvas, thinking about the composition and the overall look that you're looking for. I'd really like to keep some negative space in both of these designs. So that's what I have in mind when I'm doing this. I'm not too worried about the actual look of the pattern that I'm creating. I'm focusing more on the negative space that's gonna really help pop that design. So this one was about having a prominence of color of the copper. And the next one that I'm going to do will have the prominence color of the gold. You can see here how those cells and that lacing have been created naturally. Remember, this is just paint and water.
So I'm really happy with that design. So I'm now going to start on my second canvas. I'm going to again just use the lamp black as the base. So I'm just going to blow the base colour over the full surface of the canvas. And this time I'm really going to focus on the gold element. So all I'm doing, again, is I'm repeating that process of puddling the paints in the middle of the canvas. I started off with some white, then I've added some copper, and then I'm adding some silver, and then I'm going to go for the gold. That's the colour that I really want to pop through on this design. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to double pour. I'm not going to add any more colours on the top. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the paint, the base paint, around the edge of those puddles. And then I'm going to take my torch and just pop any air bubbles before blowing it out. And each blow is a real surprise because you can see that base colour popping through and creating those cells and that lacing as you continue to blow out your design. Again, I'm really focused on the negative space, so the black colour. I really wanted the gold to be the main colour to pop through. I'm still happy for some of that copper to shine through too with the silver, but this was all about the gold. For this one, I'm just gently blowing some of the paint over the surface of the canvas. I'm just controlling a little bit more on where I want to blow that paint and that's going to really help me with my composition of the overall design. I don't blow too hard, just a gentle blow on top of that paint and the base paint that we've already layered will help that flow across the canvas. Let me take you in now for a close-up of the wet version. I'll show you some of those details. I've got a short message afterwards. And then I'm going to leave you with the close-ups of all the dried versions so you can see all those details, all those colours, the base colour popping through, and also the intricate details of the cells and the lacing that was created by just using this colour palette and using just the paint and water ratio. All of that information, don't forget, is listed in my description box. So the pieces have dried beautifully. So let me show you those now. Here we go. So we've got the gold prominent colour on this one and the copper prominent colour on this one. And I just feel that they really go well as a pair. And I really, really enjoyed doing this. So thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you want any further information about the colours I've used and the brands that I've used, including all the ratios, check out the description box below. And also within that description box, I list lots of other information. So check out the details below. And remember, be kind to yourself when you're creating because we all have those days where we doubt ourselves and our creations. And even if it doesn't work out, we're actually learning a lot as we go on our creative journey. So a little bit of wise words from Mark about being kinder to yourself, especially when you're doing your art and your creativity. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again in the next video and take care of yourself. And as I leave you with some of the close up of the details of the dried version, 
don't forget to check out Mary Louise Art, where we work together to create a piece using a black base and metallic colours. You'll really enjoy Mary Louise's channel too. So hop on over, check out Mary Louise. All the details are listed in the description box below and have a great week ahead. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all of your support and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.